uh, we're going to install a 15 or 1450 outlet for our Tesla that we have on order, or Model Y. So since it plugs into the right and rear, I'm going to run it where I've already started some work there and put the outlet over here. Um, so what I'm going to do is pull some you know, 6 gauge wire that will handle the 15 amp load without any problems and terminate it into this. The issue that we have is that we only have 100 amp service. So what I'm doing, I'm repurposing the breaker for the electric dryer. The builder put in both electric and gas, and we're running on gas, so the electric dryer receptacle is not being used in the house. So this will be repurposed to feed the uh, Tesla breaker. So that's what we'll be doing. Um, I've already uh, I cut this out to get access to the stuff back there. I couldn't have cut further because there's uh, plywood back here. So I had to fish the wire behind here through the room. Because this is a uh, duplex unit that has a firewall. It has a good inch or so space behind the stud. So, so uh, I was able to fish uh, this pole. Over here, we're going to use that to pull the cable up to this outlet and make our connections inside of the, uh, the panel here. Uh, the one other thing, if you have a panel like this, um, these uh, outlets here, or breakers here, are dummies. Um, there's no bus behind here. Um, what, one thing you can do is when you have a full panel, you have no other room to do breakers, you can use these tandem breakers that have two breakers in the space of one. Um, the tandem breakers, uh, these are square Bs. And the tandem breakers come in 20 amp, 15 amp, combination of 15 and 20 amp breakers, but if you need space in your panel, you could take two of the tandem breakers and replace four of the solid breakers and gain two slots. That's enough for a, um, a 50 amp breaker. But you have to check to make sure that your panel will handle those tandem breakers. Not all panels will handle careful about what you're doing. Obviously, you don't want to overload your circuits. But generally speaking, that should work for you. The other thing you can also help with it is do your charging at night. You don't have any other real loads on your panel when you have a limited panel like this one, which is only 100 amp. So uh, we'll get to work and uh, done pulling this wire. gauges a bit of a handful to work with.
Okay, now I gotta just terminate the ends here. Screws are going into the plywood. Round goes into the top round hole. Neutral goes in the bottom.
Okay, that that's the one end of it. So this is the Tesla connector. This will go in here and hook up to the... Uh, so that's the one end of it. We've still got a lot more to do on the other end. But this end is finished. Uh, so here's your open panel. Uh, this is the old dryer feed that came from this breaker. Uh, so it's taped up and uh, out of the way. This is the new six gauge that will feed the uh, receptacle from the uh, charger. So the way that's wired, it simply is there's a ground lead that goes to the ground bus. The ground bus is just has all the copper wire, all the grounds connected to it. So it's, that's real straightforward. The neutral, the white wire, will be connected to this uh, neutral bus. There's a neutral bus on both sides. It can go on either one. Uh, so this one would be simple just to hook up to this bus here. Uh, and then the two colored leads will go into the breaker. Doesn't matter which one goes where, it's just uh, a separate one, 20 feet on both sides are combined and they're two forty. So as simple as that. Uh, so that's straightforward. And then I put the piece that I cut out of the wall back and put in drywall screws to tighten everything up and then I've taped it over with uh, drywall, fiberglass drywall tape so that's ready for mudding so we'll try and uh, get that cleaned up and then we'll just need to repaint the wall and that should, should be it so we'll get to work and keep doing that the circuit breaker is installed and the wiring is completed uh, these, are, these, it's the in, these are the incoming leads from the receptacle. There are the two hot leads. There's a bare copper wire that goes to the ground bus. There's a white neutral, even though the charger really doesn't use that, it's still part of that circuit. So it just goes up to the neutral bus. A neutral bus on either side, it doesn't matter where you go with it. And then the two hot leads. So they pick up 120 on each side combined to 240. Um, that's really all there is to the breaker, 50 amp breaker. It feeds over to here. There's a bracket to kind of hold the Tesla box in place. They kind of recommend that it not be hanging unsupported and so you just end up with a uh, and so this should open up the port and it locks in place and it's scheduled for the late night charging so it's not going to charge right off the bat and there's a uh, completed uh, hookup for the Tesla, not on the cheap. Uh, that's all there's to it. Thanks for watching.